Sheffield this morning. Where are you now? You've been showing us all the machinery. Where are you now? Yeah, so this is this is the end product. Morning to you both, by the way. Morning, everybody else. Um, this is what we've got called flint glass. That's the industry call it flint. We all know it's pretty much clear glass. You've got your green glass here, amber, all part of the separation process that goes through the end. Big, complicated process. So much waste this week. 120 odd thousand tonnes more than we'd normally use. That's about, if it was just wine bottles, that'd be about half a billion wine bottles or one Munchetti household at Christmas. Let's have a chat to Stephen, who is the boss here at Virador, about what goes on. Stephen, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Stephen, now we've got here, if we can just come across a little bit and let, uh, let Malik, a cameraman, just have a look at all this. We've got different colours of glass and yes. people will be chucking out stuff like this. Absolutely. And thinking, well, hang on a minute. What's the point in me putting that in the, uh, in the, in the wine bin? Yep. Okay. when you've got to end up with something with amber green or flint. How does that work? Well, how that works is that the glass manufacturing, they can make the colours match to what they need, so they can melt that down with the flint or the amber or the green colours, and the colour is diluted across to get to the right colour. So as long as it's glass and it's the right quality, it's OK for the manufacturing guys to, to make it to new bottles. Gotcha. And bottle tops? Bottle tops for us, you can leave your bottle tops on or off because our process can handle the aluminium and the steel cans and also it can extract the plastic. So it's not a problem for us to leave your bottle on. But loads of people at home be going, hang on a minute, I'm being told to take my bottle top off before I put it in. Why, why is it so different in different parts of the country? Well, that's because of uh, the way that different plants are set up. So some plants are newer and more modern and have had more investment to handle the various other plants that are older and therefore they're not designed to have as much uh, extraction, so they prefer a more pure mix going in. Right, gotcha. Uh, Stephen, thank you very much for that. We're going to have a chat to uh, a couple of experts in the industry now about where we go next, what more can retailers do, what more can consumers do. We've got Claire and Margaret with us this morning. Morning to you both. I mean, Claire, just first up, the retailers, looking at all those different coloured glass we've yeah. got there. I mean, you know, you've got something like this with a load of, uh, load of stuff you've got to peel off on. Yeah. Do retailers really take into account, do you think, the recyclability of this, or are they just trying to catch your eye on a shelf? Do you know, I don't think many of them would necessarily know, and maybe it's part of the awareness that they need to put into place for their own sort of uh, ethical practices and work with their suppliers too to create better labels. Because, I mean, this one is the sticky plastic, and um, I've been learning today about how much that contaminates in the glass recycling process versus the plastic label that would just slide straight off the bottle. So I think retailers and manufacturers are alike could do a lot more to understand how to build products that look both eye-catching and um, increase their recyclability, if that's the word. Margaret, you're a sustainability expert. We've talked to you about all this kind yeah. of stuff before. The, the relationship between business, the consumer, and then recycling places like this, who needs to be doing more? I know everybody does, but is there an area? Well, that's it. Everybody does need to be doing more. But it's interesting, when Claire was saying about partnerships, you often find that the retailers who are trying to do things better work with the resource management specialists, the people who run facilities like this, to make sure they're doing the right thing. But it's really important that householders take their responsibility as well, because quality is key. We want the right stuff in the right place, because that makes, that's why people want it. So we as householders need to make sure that we put the stuff in the right box mm. and maybe make that decision when we're buying it. So think, can this be recycled or reused when we're buying it, rather than waiting till we've eaten or drunk the contents and then going oh now what do I do with it yeah, yeah. because if we do that when we buy it then they'll do it when they make it actually on that point of quality oh Stephen's gone I was going to ask him you might know the answer to this Margaret in terms of the quality here if we just come across here a little bit Margaret um, and we have a look say at some, something like this how many times over can a bottle of glass be recycled and reused pretty much forever so, th so there's no issue. So do you think there should be more glass usage in everything we have? It, it all depends. Glass is brilliant where glass is brilliant. Plastic is brilliant where plastic is brilliant. Because these glass bottles weigh a lot more than a plastic bottle. Right. So if we're shipping them around the world or even around the country, the environmental impact of the extra fuel for transporting it can outweigh the environmental impact of the materials it's made from. Interesting. Margaret, thank you very much. Claire, thank you. We'll talk a bit more later about... We'll, we'll show you a bit more of the factory. It's some incredible stuff going on here. So many hundreds of thousands of tonnes of waste this week, but we're getting through a bit of it and making it a bit more useful here this morning. Thanks very much, Sean. It's fascinating what we're seeing there, and good to know about your bottle tops as well. Yeah, so glass is good where glass is good. Plastic is good where plastic is good.